Hi everyone, my name is Jamila and I hope you're having a wonderful day today. If you're new here, I love posting home decor, DIY, and organization tips, so be sure to subscribe if that's your thing. So for today's video, I'm working on a bathroom makeover and oh my gosh, I have done so much to this tiny bathroom. I live in an apartment so all of these tips are renter friendly and I'm so excited to be showing you the whole process from beginning to end and be sure to watch till the end because because the reveal is spectacular. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so here is how the bathroom currently looks. Let me tell you, the floors are beat up. So the first thing I'm going to be working on is covering them up with some peel and stick floor stickers. And I'm also on a budget, so I'm leaving the mirror, lighting, hardware, all the same, and we're just gonna work with what we have. Since I have a pedestal sink, I have this cabinet over here for storage, but the glass makes it look very cluttered. So I'm planning to repaint this and cover the glass with some fabric. Overall, I love the green tile in here and I think it's pretty cute, but it just needs some personality, so I'm excited to get started. So this is the floor stickers from Quadro Style. As you can see, it's as thin as wallpaper, so it just comes in this giant roll and when you like grout lines, um, so I know this is going to look kind of like tile, which I'm excited. Okay, so before installing the stickers, you're going to want to make sure your floor is super clean. So I'm using this new cleaning brush bit that I can attach to my drill to clean the floor and then going to let them dry. Okay, so this is how the floor looked after I deep cleaned them. And unfortunately, they still look pretty grimy. I thought the grout would look a lot better after, but that's what I'm left with. So at least I know they're clean. Next, to install the stickers, I'm starting with the straightest section of the floor, which is next to my wall, and peeling the backing little by little and using a rag to smooth out the air bubbles. I think the sticker is very forgiving, so you can actually peel it off and try again in case you mess up. It's best to go slow and only peel out 2 inches at a time. Also, make sure you have an extremely sharp knife for this project to cut the excess. The sticker is thick, so you need something sharp to cut through so you have clean lines. So I'm at the base of the toilet now, and so I'm gonna cut down this side of it until I reach the base, and that is when I'm gonna start laying down the panel. And this is going to go on the other side. And shout out to Alexandra Gator. She actually showed a tutorial on how to do this and it really helped me a lot. And I'll link her video down below so you can check it out. I cut down the middle of this paper and then now I'm going to be cutting down the triangle cuts so that I can reach the base of the toilet. And then once you keep cutting down, you can see that you can start to mold the shape of the toilet. So I haven't peeled out the bathroom yet, but this is what I'm planning to do. Okay, so this is how it, it looks at the base of the toilet. Now I'm just gonna grab my X-Acto knife and then cut around the edges. So I finally got the back of the toilet <laughs> and it was a little bit of a struggle. I could not record because it's such a tight space back there. Not perfectly aligned, but I think that's totally fine since it's the back of the toilet. No one's gonna really see that. So yay. Okay guys, here's the final result. I'll go up close as well. It's good that I went with a busy pattern because you can't see the grout lines from my original tile. So I'm going to be painting my cabinet over here that goes in my bathroom and I got the color Dark Secret um, in satin, so we'll see how this goes. This is the first coat. I'm going to let this dry and then get back to it. 
Okay, so I ended up doing three coats on the cabinet and added a protective finish. So after that was dry, I decided to add this burlap fabric on the glass and we're using a staple gun to attach it and just pulling the fabric so it's nice and taut. I'm honestly not sure if this was the best material to use because it's kind of messy. So if I could do it over, I would maybe use rattan keen webbing or something like that. I really love how it turned out. I actually cracked it, unfortunately, right there. The burlap that I put over the glass, this is gonna help a lot with just making it look less cluttered in the bathroom. Hi guys, okay, so I'm at Target right now and I'm about to pick up a shelf for the bathroom and then just look for any cute decor items I can decorate it with. So let's go. Okay, so I just got back from Target. I have two shelf options that I'm thinking about putting in the bathroom and I think I know which one I'm gonna go with. So I'll show you. Okay, so I originally bought this shelf from World Market and I do love it. I love the arch detail, but it is a little bit too tall and the shelves are not that deep. So I don't think I'm gonna go with this one. And this is the one I just picked up from Target and I really love it. It has these beautiful details um, all around. It's definitely shorter and more deep. And here's a little tip if you need to hang something. I love to use tape, that way I'm able to see the width of it and then I just mark where the screws need to go. I also got these modern hooks from Amazon, which I'm going to install in the empty wall space next to the door. That way we can hang more towels or ropes there. I bought these really beautiful picture frames from the thrift store for like $4 each and I'm going to hang them. Hi y'all, okay so that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this bathroom makeover. I feel like we did so much in there and my favorite part is definitely the new floor. I absolutely love that peel and stick floor stickers and I feel like they completely transformed the space. It made it feel more light and airy. Comment down below what your favorite part was and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Bye!